Okay guys, we're here in the second part of this video for the um, hot water heater going out. That's a three-phase leg added to this panel. Uh, this panel um, is a three-phase leg. It's A, B, C, black, red, blue. Power comes in here. Here's my bugs right here that I came down and up and into. We did have uh, a two-pole 60-amp breaker that was feeding that, which technically you needed 60 amps to protect six gauge according to article 3105 b2 but technically that unit um, could have been drawn more than 43.3 amps it says it wouldn't but if things go bad inside of that or it blows i think maybe the weaker link is definitely going to be that busman fuse cartridge that held it um, but again, adding that three, that third leg is the better way to go with this. Now, once we did, we did need to step down to a 50 amp three pole breaker now. And those are a stab type CH. You're not gonna find that at your normal box store. Now, in order to keep them running, I did have these four in here and I had black, red, blue, and this one bare. So you can scab it by, you know, I don't suggest doing it more than a couple days but I knew that my breaker was two days out and I had to get back over here. So it kind of kept them running. Uh, the Busman Fuse, we ordered an extra one to have that on the truck at all times. Um, so anyways, guys, this is the way we kind of ran about that and um, hopefully this video would help you out and uh, let me know again about that hot water heater. I'm not sure why the manufacturer thought 30 amps on the fuses was good uh, when we know we're at 43.3 for full load. Maybe that's because all elements won't kick on at once because there is three elements in that large tank. Thanks guys, have a great week.